Hello and welcome to creating a video in PowerPoint 2010. Of course PowerPoint 2010 is part of Microsoft's Office 2010 suite and the reason I'm doing this video was just to see how well it achieved that and of course to share with others who might like to try it for themselves. So you'll probably notice it's doing several things at the same time. Um, notable additions are the laser pointer which I'm showing you now and this is actually achieved by holding down the control button bottom left of your keypad and holding down the left mouse key. Uh, of course you can hear my voice and certain things are still available like animations and slide timings so yes all your animations are retained and you can use them as normal. Um, it only requires a microphone but I would recommend using a headset because um, you obviously need both hands free particularly for doing things like the laser pointer. Output of the actual video is in Windows Media video format WMV um, up to the pixels shown. Uh, you can go smaller but again I would recommend going for as high a resolution as you can and that allows users to be able to read text more effectively. Um, which is also a very good point when you're actually creating your PowerPoint um, you want to make sure you, you're not using too small a text because it's not going to be very readable uh, particularly if they're using smaller mobile devices. Okay so how did I do it? I basically created the slideshow like I normally would. I plugged in my microphone and headset made sure that was working. I then went to the slideshow tab clicked on the record slideshow and just a point to remember on here that if you click the um, extra menu below by mistake um, you want to go from start recording from beginning. Uh, you'll also notice that there's a, another option in the menu called start recording from current slide and that's quite handy if you've recorded part of the way through and you made a mistake you can go back to a specific slide and carry on recording from that point um, which will save you a lot of time. OK, so after you've actually clicked the uh, Record Slideshow button, uh, this particular pop-up appears. And the important thing is to ensure you've selected all the options you need. Um, so if you want to record Slideshow and Animation Timings, make sure it's checked. And also the same for Narration and Laser Pointer. And then simply click the uh, Start Recording button. Uh, when complete, um, all you need to do then is to actually select the Escape key and that's the top left of your keypad. Um, what I've noticed that was a bit peculiar um, is that it appears to have frozen when you actually press the escape key and I think this depends on the speed of your computer that you're using. Um, it is actually doing stuff and you'll notice that there's a little tiny uh, recording timer which you'll notice when you're recording your PowerPoint will actually stop also. Um, just give it a little bit of time and eventually the screen will appear showing your slides um, all available for you. Okay so you've reached that stage. What you need to do then is to uh, create the video and you go to your file menu which is the top left of your screen. Uh, you go down to the save and send option on the left hand side and then obviously you collect the create a video um, option here. Uh, making sure you've got the right resolution settings. These usually appear on the right hand side and on the highest setting but just make sure double check that it's set on something like HD or equivalent. Okay so that's pretty much it. You've, if you've got through those steps you should have created your own video and you're ready to uh, distribute that. So thank you all for watching.